Tom here from Orange Systems, and I had a conversation with Mike over at DNS Filter. Conversation went really well. Now, this is a follow-up to the DNS filtering video that I did, where I compared Quad9, DNS Filter, Cisco Umbrella, OpenDNS, which I was actually have a follow-up video on that because Cisco reached out to me because I was in the wrong control panel. So I'll leave links to the first video, the second video, and of course, this is kind of the third video, but it's also a bit more discussion on this topic uh, to discuss, especially the conversation with DNS Filter. So before we dive into that, let's first, if you'd like to learn more about me and my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire a short project, there's a hire us button right at the top. If you want to support this channel in other ways, there's affiliate links down below to get you deals and discounts on products and services we talk about on this channel, including a link to our Patreon if you'd like to become a Patreon supporter. We also have a swag store where you can get shirts and other items that are for sale, and that changes from time to time what's available and what's not, so go ahead and check that out frequently. And finally, our forums. If you'd like to have a more in-depth discussion about this video, suggestions for new videos, or just reach out, say hi, and talk tech, our forums are a great place for that. All right, now back to the content. We'll start here with a response to Tom Lawrence's DNS malware filtering comparison. And they've talked about the video, what's right with the test, what's wrong with the test, and about how they retire threat feeds. This is really important because you don't want a bunch of false positives, especially when you're paying for the service. So finding a good feeds is honestly hard. There are a lot out there, both paid free feeds, and a lot of them are not updated anymore as evidenced by the feeds. So they went through and started digging around in the feeds, which is also they reached out to SANS. And this is the post right from that SANS. This is the website, what it looks like now. This is the one I used in my video. And here is the response they have about uh, Peter sending them a message and saying, yeah, this feed's really old and longer maintained. Now, this is a bigger issue because actually a lot of these lists are no longer maintained. Um, even the ones that, things like Pi-hole and PF Blocker, um, I was digging around and realizing some of these lists have not been updated in a long time. And when, in the context of the testing I was doing, when you specifically are talking about malware, that is a huge challenge because malware is not like blocking some type of sinkhole ad site where the ad sites may not change as often. The malware sites are changing extremely dynamically, which is one of the reasons I chose as a test because it's ultimately what we want is uh, blocking malware and blocking malware is just not an easy task. So they break down some of the discussion, how they look at things, how they look and get rid of false positives. I think this is worth your time to go through and read this up. So uh, I will leave a link to this down below. I tweeted it out earlier today. Um, and like I said, they have everything on here. So absolutely, this is a good read. Now, related to that is people that keep looking for some absolute decisiveness on this. And in terms of all the paid services out there, because we're not a user, we're not directly paying DNS filter and I'm not paying Cisco Umbrella for services, I can't give you a really solid overall use case. I'm still researching and still digging into other methodologies. One well, of those methodologies was I signed up for the free feeds from Alien Vault, and they refer to them as their pulse, and they have like active malware threats and indicators of compromise, and this is also a discussion ongoing in my forum. And I had spot checked a few of these with DNS filter with Cisco Umbrella, and I have my comments in there. Short answer is, certain number of threat feeds, and I think I have one of them I posted. I didn't want to just fill my uh, forums up with a lot of these links, but one of them I posted, uh, some sites sinkhole them, some didn't. DNS filter did sinkhole it, Quad9 sinkhole it. At that time, when I was doing the test, uh, the, the Cisco Umbrella and the Cloudflare filtered, neither one of those actually filtered that address. That was then, uh, it's one of those things. It's about who's ingesting what feeds went. So I will say, Overall, though, when you're looking at the free side, not the paid services, but the free side, which in narrow scope, when you're trying to set those up, Quad9, clearly, for all the free ones out there, really ahead of it. I know everyone else is going to clamor on and ask me to test their filtering system. All the code's public. I don't have time to run all these tests, but this is why I make all the code and everything's public. It's in the write-up, and you can find that in the forum link down below. So take the time to read that response from DNS Filter. It's good. It's concise. Take the time to look at Quad9 if you're going, I just want a free service to drop in and set up at my mom's house, my dad's house, or whatever friends you want just for some basic filtering for home. I'm going to say that Quad9 is probably one of the best ones out there in terms of free services. But let's take that word free and look at it real quick. And I want to mention that. Um, I said free service, but they do have a donate button because they literally run a nonprofit organization that cares about privacy, which means without selling your data, you can't get that free service where you're the product. Um, this is a run by donations type of free service. So 
as we all know, nothing's really free. Uh, if you can take the time and I'll throw a little money at them myself, they have a donate button up at the top for Quad9. Um, I also wanna thank them greatly for uh, constantly posting the forums. They've been really helpful, as well as DNS Filter. Both of those companies have engaged uh, with the community, which also that shows me they care about their product a lot, both the free service Quad9 and DNS Filter. Like DNS Filter having the uh, you know chief tech guy reach out to me and have a good conversation with their co-founders, great conversation, taking the time to write a nice, well-written blog post with links and thoughts on it. Hey, that's what I like to see. This is the type of community engagement that, well, makes me happy and shows if you care about your product, you, you know, care about your users of that product, not just from a marketing standpoint, but they actually wanna make the internet better, which is also a pretty awesome goal. So go ahead and uh, follow if you wanna read back up on there. And the last thing I'm gonna comment on, because this is both in the comments on YouTube, people who reached out to me for messages um, and people who posted this in my forums, no, you just don't use all of them. Uh, that seems to come up where people go, can I just use some of all of them and get the best of all the worlds? That's exactly the opposite. You're only as good as your worst resolver. And let me explain why. And it kind of depends on your DNS system, but if you have more than one DNS, if one resolver fails, as in, let's say we have a website that's blocked and that resolver fails because it was malware and Quad9 blocked it and you have the next one down in there and it does resolve it. You didn't block any malware. So you wanna pick one that works. And like I said, on the side of free services, Quad9 just a simple, easy drop four nines in there and away you go. They've got easy write-ups on how to set it up in a lot of different situations. For the paid services, um, Cisco Umbrella, it seems to work. Uh, I did like the interface better if you just want me to offer up my opinion on DNS filter. And of course, you know, them and having the uh, chief tech guy that says something, reach out and maybe we'll have a conversation later that we'll do a YouTube video about, uh, about their product. Their product's pretty cool. We talked about some of the technologies they use. I'm not at liberty to discuss all of it, not that it's, you know, real secret sauce here, but it's just, you know, some of the stuff they do is pretty cool. Um, I, would I don't want to try to put any words in their mouth and maybe they can talk about it. Of course, most of it you can just learn from their website, uh, talk about what they do. But as they roll out some more products, I may have some more conversations ongoing with them uh, because they seem to be pretty slick and very reached out there. I mean, companies that take the time to write these blog posts. There's other companies I've talked about before that I appreciate that take the time, and these are often products we end up using, so they take the time to really do some community engagement and generally get out there. So go ahead and take time to read their write-up over at DNS Filter, great people over there, and uh, the forum are still open with more discussion on there. And I think a lot of people are getting it is actually what makes me really happy. Um, and kind of understanding that one, it's very challenging. And two, there are some solutions out there that uh, are definitely worth checking out. And if you're just looking for that free service that you put to all your friends and you have a few extra dollars, uh, throw some money at those quad nine folks because they're doing some good work there. And without a way to monetize your existence, like a lot of other companies do, or an actual chart for charge business model, they do rely on donations. So uh, shout out to them too. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.